there friends, this is Grace again, and I'm here with another process video. I know it's been a while, but um, we've uh, had some things going on in our life. The biggest one is I had my third baby about um, 10 days ago, so that took up my time. Anyways, um, I did this video actually the day before he arrived, and so I'm just now editing it. So I'm still working on the August kit that I had put together and this is I believe my fifth layout from that kit um, I'm working on pictures from 2011 the um, pictures of when my husband was teaching my son how to finally ride a bike without any training wheels so I have six photos that I had printed at 3 by 4 and um, I'm just gonna arrange them in in the middle of my layout and then add a few square, I mean, not squares, but rectangles of paper to go with it. And this time I'm just kind of going through um, the stuff that I had put together in the kit and see which one will work. I haven't used that butterfly chipboard, so I was really wanting to use that up. And then I have a few more um, little bits and pieces of embellishments that I wanted to use. So at this time I'm just adhering my paper and my pictures to the layout. That uh, green dot paper is actually one of those um, from resist papers from Heidi Swap. So um, you spray paint it or you um, color it in and then you wipe it down and so you see that the circle accent on there. Anyways, um, I'm adding some stickers from the basic gray sheet that I have been using uh, well, trying to use up a lot of, and um, if you're noticing, I'm at an angle because um, I have to put my camera on a tripod, and so the tripod is in front of the layout, so I'm kind of on the side. That's how I work with these videos. Anyways, um, I had painted or had um, added mist, red mist on the butterfly, and then now I'm going to put it on that top paper and put washi uh, in between the paper and the chipboard just to add some some more layering and then I'm adhering the chipboard with some um, liquid glue from Tombow and then um, I'm also going to add um, a brad, a fabric brad on there. Now since I had already adhered the chipboard I just folded in all of the prongs of the brad in inside of it so that I can just adhere to it some glue dots instead of poking the chipboard all the way through and then going you know making my brad go through it so it's coming together now and then now I have to work on oh I'm straightening out straightening out the border and now I'm gonna work on the title now I have some stickers that um, I found in the in the kit that I had put together that I wanted to use. The title will be Here We Go. And so I'm going to use that sticker and I'm just trying to figure out if I should go on the side or on the center. And I'm going to go with the side. And then I decided that I needed something in the middle of that. So I have this um, circle, scallop circle die that die cut that I had cut from using Spellbinders die and then now I'm going to put the black and white dot paper over it just to layer and I'm using Creative Memory Circle Cutters I've had this for a while and um, you know we all know Circle I mean Creative Memories have um, gone bankrupt so I don't know where you can find these but I'm sure there's other ones that are um, comparable to it so now I'm liking that effect and I'm going to adhere it onto my page and I'm going to use some pop-up dots, pop dots to um, adhere the sticker tag just so that it will stand out against all of that layering that I did for that part of the layout. And then um, I actually, when I was working there, I noticed that I had a like a red met, a messy stuff on the side, on the left side, 
you'll notice me wiping it down and I didn't realize that it had gone on my layout and so I'm trying to figure out what it is first and I believe it's missed but anyways I'm going to try to cover that up later on so that wasn't part of my original plan but since you know I messed up I have to cover that now I'm threading some um, red twine on um, a blue turquoise button and I'm tying it into a knot to have a nice finished look and trim the excess and then adhere it using some um, pop-up cuts. So there's my title and I'm noticing that mess and so I'm trying to wipe it with some baby wipe and I'm trying to figure out how to add some more in that part of the layout but then decided that I'm going to add those two silver buttons on the bottom by the notes section where I'm going to handwrite my journaling instead of adding it over in that um, title block. It actually creates a visual triangle because it has the, the red on that um, chipboard butterfly and then red on the scallop circle and then this time we have a red on the twine which is over there by the notes section. I like to work and create visual clusters and triangles to my page. Just That's just how I do things and I've just been doing it ever since. I like it that way. It's pleasing to the eye and it directs the eye to where I want it, where I want the, the viewer to look at my page. So now I'm just going through my sticker sheets and trying to figure out what I can use to cover up that messy part of my layout. And I found this um, kind of arrow sticker from the Amy Tangerine book. And because I don't like wasting things, I'm going to add the other part of that sticker on the notes part just to just so I'm not wasting it. And then I'm going to add some more green washi that I had cut the one edge into um, kind of an arrow and then trying to figure out because I like to work in threes so since I have the, the washi and the strip of sticker I need to add something there as a third element and so I'm trying to figure out what it would be and I ended up putting the recorded sticker from the My Mind's Eye sheet. Next I'm cutting some kind of ticket stubs from the pattern paper and it has just some things that um, connect with the story of my layout like the word go and it has the arrow and um, I think the other one says admit one so there is my cluster and there is my page and here it is finished with handwritten journaling thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you next time Thank you.